So I've been looking for a way to marry up uh, these wheels that have bearings in the middle. The bearing is like, you know, really, really loose um, to these guys here. And what I noticed was uh, the spindle is actually, you know, kind of square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of aluminum and uh, file out the middle so that I can just put it on like that and then I'll mount the wheels to it like this and sort of bolt it on like that and that should negate the need for bearings. So over here I've drilled out the hole and what I'm doing now is I've used a a little triangular file to actually file at the hole and make it uh, square because uh, you know when you drill it it's a circle so you have to make it square and now I'm taking this more heavy-duty square file and I'm actually you know putting it in the hole and I'm filing it out this way and that way uh, so that it'll fit on the other spindle and then uh, I'll bolt that to the other tire and we're good so here's the finished wheel uh, with the little peg thing cut out so it'll fit nicely on the end of my uh, my electric wheelchair dealie. Uh, it's bolted on this side and on this side and I've got a little screw there that goes into the end of the wheelchair shaft so I'll go ahead and install that. So the wheel is now installed and if we have a look at this, there you go, plenty of clearance. I'll be mounting the uh, lawnmower frame to this part here. So we have a nice little thickness there and boom, we're done. So now to test out the electronics. For the electronics, I have two uh, 12 volts sort of lawn and garden golf cart batteries, uh, just lead acid. Uh, rigged up in series. I hooked up a little light switch here so I can easily power on and off the whole assembly, which is pretty cool. Uh, positive goes out, negative goes to the ground, blah, 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 everything goes out to... The Sabertooth 2x25. So I have it hooked up to the power here, and this goes out to electric wheelchair motors. Uh, the other electric wheelchair motor is going to get hooked up here, and I found my transmitter, this guy here, uh, two output signals, and it needs uh, two power, which are here. So I rigged them up to get around here. Let's see if I can focus on that. So I have like a little zero and five volt madness so the whole thing can actually be powered by those uh, uh, wheelchair batteries over over there uh, so it actually steps it down to five volt which is really convenient and then the signals go in here so I'm just using uh, two of the helicopter servo signals uh, throwing it into line one and two, and it reads the uh, the voltage. Two point five volts is uh, the middle of the line, and when it sees that, it'll automatically turn off the wheelchair motor. Uh, so anything below two point five volts is reverse, and anything above two point five volts is forward, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. We will. Turn on the light switch. So we go up here. You'll notice there's a little blue light there. And we have our trusty remote control here. Turn that on. Wait for a couple of seconds for it to pair. And then you'll see down here. Cool. So now let's have a look down here. We have 
forward and backward and forward and it's variable control which is awesome I can just creep up on the grass or I can go full bore which is great I haven't calculated how fast this thing is going to go yet but uh, I don't know it looks like it'll go a fair clip which is pretty cool alright so next step I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to install these guys on the lawnmower. I don't know if I'll do an extra frame, maybe I'll just install it directly on the lawnmower body, but we'll see.